Hello everyone! So for today, we're going to talk about this difficult question which is what is a research gap? So pag-usapan muna natin yung word na gap. Pag sinabi natin gap, meron siyang space, meron siyang vacuum, merong, merong bakante, vacant siya na kailangang mapunan. So it is your study which will feel that empty space. This is Abigail and I hope you are having a beautiful day to learn. Pag-usapan natin yung three answers to this question. So first, these are the questions not yet answered or not yet fully answered by other researchers. Ibig sabihin nito, if you have a particular research topic at binato mo ng binato ng iba't ibang questions yung topic na yan, at may mga questions na hindi nasasagot or hindi ka-confident sa mga answers na nababasa mo, then that becomes the research gap. At yung study mo ang dapat magpuno ng gap na yon. Another answer to this question is that there are other areas not yet explored by other researchers. So for example, ang dami-daming studies ngayon about COVID-19, yet hindi pa rin naman lahat ng questions natin ay nabibigyan ng kasagutan for this. There are still areas that are not yet explored. That's why we cannot have the easiest solution to get rid of COVID-19 in our world. At itong areas na to ang tatawagin nating mga research gaps about COVID-19. And the third one would be problems not yet solved or the problems that are given solutions but those solutions didn't work. So marami din tayong problems in our literacy, in our poverty, and dami nating gustong tugunan sa mga bagay na to. Our government are giving out programs in order to resolve these problems, but still, they are existing in our country. Ibig sabihin, the solutions are not working. So if they are not working, hindi na a-alleviate yung poverty, mababa pa rin ang literacy, then this becomes our research gap. Kailangan natin makahanap ng better solutions para mabawasan naman yung ating mga problems. And that's it. I hope you can now already answer this question. What is a research gap? Again, we have three answers for this. First, these are the questions not yet answered or not yet fully answered by other researchers. Second, these are the other areas not yet explored. And third, these are the problems that are not yet solved or these were the problems given solutions but those solutions did not work. I hope may natutunan kayo para sa araw na ito and sana next time pag tinanong kayo what is a research gap, may masasagot na po kayo. Once again, this is Abigail and konting lambing, pa-subscribe naman sa ating channel at pa-hit ng notification bell para lagi kang subscribe sa ating videos at lagi mong makikita ang ating mga research related na mga tutorials. God bless everyone!